Hey ladies, my name's Rebecca and this video here is going to be not my typical makeup video. In fact, I'm not even going to put my makeup on at all, but I am going to show you and teach you why I recommend two to three highlight colors, aka foundation, and how to use them because that's a very common question I get a lot, especially when I send back my color match forms or when someone gets their makeup and they're new. They are wondering why they have multiple foundation shades. They're like, why and how? Because we're all, when we go to like Ulta or Walmart, you get the one shade of foundation. You kind of test it on one spot of skin or on your arm like I used to do, which is crazy. And hey, Brooke, and you get that one foundation color. And if you go look in the mirror or look at my face, I don't have any makeup on, no one's face is one color all over. It's real light right here. I've got lots of freckles, which make it dark right there. Around my nose is usually pretty red. I sometimes will have some acne down here. If you have rosacea, melasma, age spots, no one's face is one color all over. So that one shade of foundation you went and picked out at Walmart or Ulta or wherever might be really good for any area of your face, but it's not real good where your rosacea is. And so you really do need to cater to those darker areas of your face as well. So everything blends together and looks really well. And if you're hopping on or if you have questions, let me know <laughs> in the comments. But um, hey, Brooke, so if that makes sense, let me know. So that is why I recommend multiple foundation colors. So let me kind of break it down for you even more. I know I was taught, so I'm sure you were too, maybe, maybe not. But if you have, let's say, a pimple, you would go in and you would put a super bright like concealer on that zit. Which, now that I use this makeup, kind of is, is funny because light, anything light colors, that draws people's eyes there. It just, it, it brings it out and it, 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 it catches the light. You're going to be looking at that light area of that, of that part of your face. We don't want to draw attention to that zit. So it's actually opposite. You want to go in with a darker color first to kind of camouflage it, blend it in, draw eyes away from it. So if you're someone who has melasma, acne, freckles, um, any kind of just dark spots on your face, then I typically or more than likely recommend three colors. Hey, Katie. And that is why, because maybe I saw where you might have some melasma or lots of freckles and you want to cover them or, um, or age spots. So the other scenario where I would recommend three foundation colors is if you're a self tanner or if you go outside and tan a lot, I'm going to recommend three. And so now that you know, like the scenarios, let me kind of go in and explain how. So I use three because I do have like freckles. I'll get the occasional zit. Um, and sometimes I just like full coverage. So this one is my darkest color and I have them kind of in order from lightest to darkest. This is my darkest color. I use this on like where I'm really dark, kind of right here where my freckles kind of gather up. I'll use it right here on my nose where it gets kind of red. And then I'll use it if I have my, I'll, I'll get the occasional zit on my chin. I'll cover up my zit with that dark color. This is more like a spot treatment. Lightly put it on those areas that you're dark where your rosacea is, melasma, age spots. If you want to cover your freckles, use the dark color there first, very lightly. It's going to camouflage it out. And it may look crazy, but just trust the process. So then this is my, this middle one is closest to my skin tone. That's the one I'm going to use everywhere else. So I'm not layering it. I'm just going all around it. So like I, like I said, I would put a, on my freckles, if I want to cover my freckles, I would put the darker color there because it's darker there. So I would go in with my my skin tone color all everywhere else. All right. And then you got this third color. So I was like, well, what do I do with this one? So this one, think of like a concealer. It's just going to brighten your face up. It's going to brighten up under your eyes, in the middle, like your T-zone. It's just going to brighten everything up and make you look refreshed. So these three all together create your full face of foundation. So I think where we're all stuck in the mindset of you just have one bottle of foundation, one color, put it all over. That's not how this works. These all three work together in those certain areas of your face where 
your darker to lighter. Now, for my self-tanners or the people who do go out and tan a lot, this is how you'll, you'll still use it the same way in a way. So, like for instance, when I go out in the garden on the weekends, I do get a little darker for a few days. So I'll use this color and like I'll, I'll kind of use these two colors here. But then come winter time, I'll kind of scoot on down here and use these two colors and only use this occasionally for like the, the zit. So it gives me some flexibility. Like say if you're a spray tanner, you'll move up when you've got your fresh spray tan. You start losing that tan, scoot down to these two. So you just have wiggle room. Let me know if that makes sense. I get that question a lot on how do I use these and why. So basically just to recap, the darkest color is going to give you coverage wherever you need it. Acne, rosacea, melasma, freckles, wherever you need it. Just like a spot treatment, not all over, just spot treat that area. Redness, if you have redness, use this. And then your skin tone color will be the middle, middle, the middle color. and just goes everywhere else to even everything out. And this just gives you a pop of brightness to make you look awake. And that's how that works. <laughs> um, I hope that makes sense. If you still have questions, let me know. It took, you know, it, it does take a little bit to kind of get used to and understand, but once you understand it, it makes the world of difference because you're, you're, when you do it this way, you're only having to put such little product because the dark covers it so well, you don't have to go over it really ever again. You just dark, you know, cover it and that's it. Whereas when you go in with a lighter concealer color, say you have a zit and you use that white concealer, you cover it with the concealer, you cover it with foundation, and then you typically have to cover it one more time because it's like big, bold, and red. So then you have a big old pile of makeup and it's so cakey looking. Go in with your dark color first and you won't have to go over it again. Like it just is camouflaged and gone. If you have questions about which one is which for you, let me know. I'll let you know which one's your, your darkest and your middle and your light. That way you can kind of put it in order. And once you have it in order in your palette, you just know dark, medium, light. <laughs> So I hope this was helpful. If you have questions, let me know. I know it's kind of a whole new concept that it's different, but it's so much better, so much better than traditional makeup. So hope you have a good day. I'm going to go do my makeup live on Instagram. So if you want to watch it, come on over there. Hope you guys have a wonderful Friday.